my God. It is May 26, 2022. I am Prophetess Brenda Saw Jesus. I am grateful and fully honored to serve in such a capacity in these final days on behalf of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Because Satan is the current God of this world, it's a dub. And so I'm focusing in on gun violence, church corruption, Memorial Day, and hashtag monkeypox. Let's first start with scripture. Matthew 18, one through seven says, the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, at that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child amongst them. And he said, truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of the things that causes people to stumble. Such things must come, but woe to the person through whom they come. Rest in peace to the 19 children and two adults at the Texas Elementary School. Buffalo Grocery Store in California Church. Sandy Hook will forever be in my heart too. It takes me back 10 years ago on December the 12th, 2012. So 12, 12, 12. That's when God sent me a vision of a gun drawn on a chalkboard. And two days later on December the 14th, 2012, Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings in Newtown, Connecticut took place. Six adults and 20 children were killed by a young man who had earlier killed his mother in their home. On Memorial Day, May 30th, is my mom's birthday, Geneva. She was also a victim of gun violence in America. May 30th is also the one year anniversary of my vision of the monkey. Now, as we speak, the monkeypox virus is global. Y'all can ignore the facts if you must, but prophecy spelled with the CY at the end will come to pass. Why? Because God himself sent me to warn you. When you see all of these school shootings, store shootings, and when you hear of the leaders of the Southern Baptist Convention, SBC, covering up allegations of sexual abuse and Catholic churches raping children, this world is violent and corrupt. So it is doomed. It's a dub. Y'all, God is in COVID and the monkeypox and more to come. He shuts everything down. So you could really see the errors of your ways. You are going on like business as usual, but things are still the same. Do you think things were okay after people at Noah's day ignored warnings and kept on acting foolish? You have grieved God and God sees you as he saw them. Again, it's a dub. Earthquakes in diverse places, coronavirus, monkeypox. God is smiting the nations. No matter how we go out, Faith prepares us to go home, though it is unfathomable to say goodbye to children. Heaven is our home. The best vision I've seen is the rapture and the worst one is judgment day. All murderers, rapists and all people will be raised back up to give an account for their lives. Everybody is going to have their day in the highest court. I won't hesitate to let you know you're going to spill it. People are acting all bad now, but as sure as my name is Brenda, all y'all going to bitch up. God will forgive you if you humble yourself and you repent now. But if you wait until you see Jesus coming in the clouds to hell, you go like a piece of firewood with no hesitation. I am a witness in these final days and even through tribulation, I can testify to the truth of God and his goodness. I want to assure the parents of Texas, 
Sandy Hook, and parents all around the world, the children are safe in Jesus' arms. It hurts like hell, but people die when they are supposed to. God is not surprised by their arrival. Nobody is too young to die, and he was ready to receive them. We have to go through a very painful labor in life in order to give birth to everlasting life. They do not have bullet holes anymore. They will get new bodies. They won't be crying. They will live forever. They will remember you. Any loved ones they know will be there as a familiar face. Children will still be treated as children, toys and fun stuff until y'all meet again. And most of all, they get to be with Jesus every day. And Jesus loves children. Jesus is the ultimate comforter. I even supernaturally saw him stoop down and comfort my dog in days before he got hit by a car and died. I received visits from those in heaven. Though this wicked world is a dub, there is still life after death. I encourage each of you to grasp the fact that this world is not your home. No matter what the exit plan is, stay faithful. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit loves you so much, and so do I. God bless you, and thank you for listening. I invite all who are listening to be saved before Jesus Christ comes in like a flood. When you see him, it will be too late. Pray with me. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I believe you died on the cross and was raised for me. Please come into my heart and save my soul. Amen. For those of you who hear this and still don't believe, pray anyway and ask God to come into your heart and work with you. Brenda warns that we are living in the last days. Now is the time for repentance. In her visions, she has seen Judgment Day and the rapture. There is life after death, and all people will bow down before the Lord Jesus and confess. The world is gone. It is your soul that Jesus is still willing to save. Jesus is watching. Are you ready? All are welcome to join Prophetess Brenda Saul Jesus on her online prophetic ministries. Her blog is brendasauljesus.blogspot.com. Find her on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash real prophetess. On Twitter, Brenda Saul Jesus. And on Instagram, prophetess Brenda Saul Jesus. See you there.